franchise. Good stuff. It's Saturday and it is five o'clock over here and we have some really exciting things in store for everybody today and I'm really excited. So one thing that I wanted to make sure I do today is make everything completely so you can see it all. See my mixing, see my measuring, see everything, everything. So. Okay. So, as I put in a lot of the posts on my Vibrant Expressions page on Facebook, today we are doing a little table for my friend. And this little table means a lot to him, so therefore it means a lot to me. And we are doing the famous fish. This is what it looks like now, three steps later, and hopefully it gets better. do it all in front of you guys, including the taping, everything, everything. Simply type in aluminum tape and it should pop, pop right up. It shouldn't be too expensive either. And it's it's great to work with because when you work with regular masking tape and you hit your heat gun above it, it tends to bow in because it's very, it's very bendy. And the aluminum tape actually stands up as it's supposed to very, very, you know, it gives you nice, nice walls. I'll wait a little bit longer and then we'll get started. Hi, how are you, Joe? I can't believe you're up so early watching me. That's insane. Let's see what we got going on here. So, the only thing that I've done to prep. Hello, Nightstone Art. How are you? So glad you guys are here. I'm so excited. Yay. So what I said, if you missed it, since you just checked in. Oh, yay. Hello, Christy. So I was going over the cool stuff we're going to make today. And one is a table for a very good friend of mine. Seven a.m. wide awake, so I'm glad we're still watching. Well, welcome. I'm glad I'm the first thing you see at 7 a.m. in Australia. <laughs> That's amazing. So this little table that we're working on um, is very dear to the owner's heart. It has been with him through some really rough times, but also through some really good times. So he wants me to give it some life. Um, these are the legs that belong to it. Oh no, there goes the screw. Anyway. These are the legs, and it stands up here, but I took it off so that it's easier to work with. Hi, Mary! Oh my god, I'm so glad you can make it, Mary! Ugh. Got the screw. Can't lose that. It's pretty important. I'm so excited you guys are here. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna do the taping right in front of you guys because I've had a lot of people ask what kind of tape I use, how do I use it, all of that stuff. So I figured I would literally answer all the questions by just doing it right in front of you. Um, as I said earlier, aluminum tape, just type that into Amazon. They've got it, it's great. It stands up to the heat, it gives you great walls. So I guess I'll just start taping while you guys are trickling in. And we are also doing the famous fish, which I'm very excited about. Last night when you guys saw it, it had the regular 
um, gray background. I decided to spray paint it in areas. It's still taped in the middle, I don't know if you can see that. Um, just to give it that cool background effect and hopefully like that 3D effect when we're done with it. And I'll talk more about this a little later on after we do the table. I wanna make you guys wait for the good part. Okay, cool. So I guess Home Depot also has it and the dollar store in California. Can't beat the dollar store, man. Cheaper the better, especially when you work with resin in these paints when everything's so expensive. All right, this particular one that I got has a backing to it that kind of peels off like so. You don't have to buy the fancy one. I like the fancy one just because it makes it easier to work with it, but you can just get the regular roll on. So most people when they tape stuff, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, I put down regular, um, what is it called again? Masking tape, just your regular masking tape. I put it down around the edges on the underneath. And the reason why I do that is because I like to double tape. Why I double tape is this aluminum tape, you end up taking it off about an hour or so into the drying process of the resin. Just so that it, it hugs your it hugs your edges really nice. But that also might cause drips. So what you want to do is keep this first layer of tape on all the way until it's solid, solid. And that's when you take it off. And that's how you end up with that nice um, finish on the bottom without the drips. So double taping. I don't like to double tape using both tapes as aluminum because aluminum will stick to aluminum really, really, really well. And then you can't take it off. So that's why I keep the two, the two kinds of tapes. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. So this is how I do it. As far as the aluminum tape, I don't go in from underneath and then bend it up. I actually hug the edge just like this. And then I get one of my stir sticks and I just tighten it, make sure it's nice and tight to the edge. You can always use your finger, but it's just easier with this and you don't get that squeaky sound. Just make sure it's nice and tight. And as soon as you do that, flip it over. And this is when you bend it down and you let it hug that first layer of tape. So this will stop it if you don't have it completely, completely stuck to the glass, if there's any like spillage or anything, <laughs> this should catch it. Make sure that's nice and tight. Flip it back around. And voila, we got a wall. So I'm just gonna repeat that for the rest of it. And now you know. <laughs> and trust me, it took me about seven months to figure this out. I tried every taping process there is out there. I've tried what everybody else was doing. And sometimes you just gotta come up with your own, you know, whatever works for you. And this is what I have found to be the easiest way when working with glass. Because one is holding up your wall, and then once that comes down, the other is holding up, you know, the drips and everything like that. Whenever you make them meet, make sure you overlap one with the other and tighten it with your finger so that there's no gap. Try to keep it as even as possible if you can. I got a little bit too much right here. 
going to downsize. Again, make sure your, your edges are super glued together. Yes, um, Christy, now you know. It, it, it does stick to itself so well that you kind of have to use two different materials so that it comes off. And like I said, I learned that the very, very hard way. How do we sand drips from the glass if you aren't smart enough to double tape? Um, I have not tried sanding glass yet, but if I were to suggest anything, it would probably be either a sanding block like this one or just regular sanding paper at... I would say 220, try 220, and if that's not like coarse enough, then go up. Um, I'm not really sure. I've never I've never had to had to deal with that. But if you do find an easier way and you do find a way to do it, that's awesome. Let me know. <laughs> and then I'll tell the people. But I would I would just try sanding and see how it goes. Maybe like even a wet sander. I don't know. It also helps the fact that we're like putting it also on the back. It helps to keep it closer because right now I have some gaps, but I know it's covered underneath, so that makes me feel better. No, buddy, you can't come with this. But yeah, trying to get aluminum tape off of aluminum tape is damn near impossible. It's all going to come off at once. I'm sure that any painter's tape would work as your bottom layer of tape. I got better lights. Am I brighter this time? I hope so. Yes. Because I was very yellow in my last ones. <clears throat> That's it for the bottom. All right. I'm wondering if we have the legs. Yeah, I know. I had to take the legs off because it literally put my table like up here, and you guys wouldn't have been able to really see anything. I'm gonna bring you guys closer in as usual when I start actually making this stuff. But I hope this holds out good. Don't make me a liar, see? Don't make me a liar. Hi, Fran. Welcome. You're not late. I didn't start that long ago. We're just, we're just getting the taping done right now. Would you like to get zoomed in right now? Christy? Hi, Jason. Masking tape is definitely cheaper than painter's tape, especially if you go to like Home Depot or something like that where everything is overpriced. Okay, so as soon as I figure out what colors to use, so what he told me is he likes the blues, he likes the aquas, and it's funny because I know last episode I did the, I've got the blues theme and here we are again a week later and I've Still got the blues, but not by choice. <laughs> so, so far, I'm thinking he, he wants like oceany colors. So, blues, turquoises, um, teals, stuff like that. So, so far, what I have picked out is let me come in closer. I've got the teal India ink. It doesn't look teal, but when you when you put it down, it does. I'm thinking I'm gonna put in some breakfast at Tiffany's. I, I'm thinking so. By just resin. 
even though it's a little lighter than he probably might want, but you know, for contrast purposes. I've got some Magic Blue by Just Resin. Very pretty color. And I think this is one of my favorites. This is Blue Diamond by Just Resin. And then I think, again, for contrast purposes, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Stone Coast White, white Coat, also for some selling. We'll see. Kind of nervous because I literally do not have a plan, as usual. Oh, clear. Is that all you want to make sales? The white? It is not. Can you? Oh, no, it's clear now. Um, it's not. The white is not the only one that makes. My mom's right here, guys, by the way. She's a little bit out of camera. Uh, but <laughs> <Hello>. she's, <laughs> she's asking questions. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. I'll, I'll bring you in right now. See what we're working with here. Bringing you down to earth a little bit. How's that? Is that good? out of the way so that you guys can mix, see me mix, since that's what you wanted to see me do. All right, so for this table, I am going to use Stone Coat's countertop um, resin. The reason for that is because it is a table and you want to be able to use it as a table and put wear and tear on it and not have to worry about it. And I'm really afraid that if I use the art coat, it'll get scratched easier, and I don't know about the temperature. Like, if he wants to drink a cup of coffee and, and put it down on it, you want to make sure it, it can be okay with that. They said hi, Mom. Hello. So, all right. We are looking with these beauties. Don't go countertop epoxy. It's a one-to-one, -one, meaning you use the same amount of one as in, as, as in the other. Man, I can't speak. Not by not by weight, but by volume. Because I did see somebody comment on their website that they tried to do it by weight, and the resin itself is a lot heavier than the hardener. Alright, so this is, I didn't even, man, I don't even have my measuring tape. I don't know how big this is. So we just gonna eyeball it. Where is your measuring tape? Uh, either outside or in the garage, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do 12 ounces. It's probably way too much for this, but you know me, I'm always scared I won't have enough, so. Um, there's really no right and wrong as far as which one of these you pour first. However, I have heard that it's better to pour the hardener in first and then the resin on top. So, oh, these aren't as good as my other ones. Hmm. Four, eight. You know something? Where is my other one? Give me one second.
Where were we? Home Depot. Home Depot today. <clears throat> today. I do not like them. I gotta tell you, I haven't even used them and I don't like them yet. The reason be is because one, they're not clear, and two, their ounces goes 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. That's not like accurate enough for me. This other one that I got from Amazon goes 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So I very much prefer these. The reason why they're awesome is because once your resin is dry, you can just do this magic. How neat is that? I'm curious if you can do the same thing. With and then you can reuse it. I don't know. I'll have to try these and see. I'm just not a fan of the fact that I can't measure it exactly. It makes me nervous. So, we're just going to use this one that I had from before. After you pull out the old resin, make sure to go in with a paper towel and some alcohol and just kind of wipe it in case there's anything left behind. You don't want it to get into your next design. When it comes to resin, this guy is your best friend. Cheap. You can get it at the dollar store for like a dollar. <laughs> But you can pretty much buy it anywhere, Walmart, anything. And yeah, if you have any spills or anything like that, it's wonderful. Thank you guys for checking in, seriously, it means the world. I think we're good. because it's Saturday. It means a lot to me that you're willing to take time out of your Saturday and spend it with me. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do six and six. Hardener first. Always put away one after you use it because I have made the mistake before in the past. You've actually seen me do it on camera to where I poured the hardener twice. <laughs> and luckily I caught it in time. I'm always afraid to reuse mine because there's always a little bit of splatter pieces and I'm too lazy to pick them up. I'm afraid they're going to end up in my resin. Oh, thank you, Jason. Just speak up your question so that um, everybody can hear that. Okay, so what, well, they can, they can see it. Um, as far as the little pieces, I mean, I've had it to where there's still been a couple of little pieces stuck to the sides. I've kind of left, like if I touch it with my finger and it doesn't come off, I still reuse it and it was fine, but it's up to you. Ugh. I'm going to try to leave some areas see-through because I did like that in my green geo table that you were able to kind of see through some areas and that was due to this beauty which is the Bombay ink because it's not thick enough to cover the whole thing so it's still kind of see-through. Okay. Yes, thank you, Christy. Thumbs up please everybody if you're here and you like this and you're learning and you want to see more Please give me a thumbs up, it would mean a lot. Thank you. Oops. There we go. I was blown away when I saw how many people watched my last video, especially since the one before that did not do well at all. I was completely blown away. So thank you for that. As far as mixing this, like I said before, um, you can time it if you wish. They say anywhere between, well, Stone Coast has two minutes, but any other resin, they say three minutes is when you're like there with it. But as far as I'm concerned with, you know, working with it for so long, I've realized that when it goes from 
cloudy to clear, you're pretty much there. I hope I have enough like contrast in these colors. We shall see. It's funny because I gotta use blue, black, silver, and white on the fish also. So I'll have to figure out what blues. I was considering doing Saturdays at a later time, maybe like seven instead of five. So two hours from now, wherever you are. How do you guys feel about that? That way it's not like in the middle of the day for everybody. Get it done, girl. Go art away, Christy, go art away. And then when you're done with it, I want you to send it to me because I want to see it. Do you see the com You don't see the comments? Okay, let me show you. Oh, it's because you're not subscribed. That's why. I am subscribed. I mean, you're not, um, you don't have a channel. Sorry. You kind of have to have a channel in order to see the comments and comment. But you can come sit next to me and you can see them here. Seven is good. College football. Well, I can't compete with college football, man. But like I was saying in my last, uh, and I can't do Sundays because NFL right here. Got to be there. Um, <clears throat> as soon as, I don't know, October, November, I will not be working full time as I am now. I won't be working at all really other than art. And then I can do, you know, Wednesdays and Tuesdays so it doesn't interfere with football in any way. No. It won't be Saturdays forever. It's just the only thing I could do right now. Oh, sticks. If I need any more, I'll let you know. Whenever doing glass, I find that you actually end up using a lot more, more resin than when you're doing a canvas. And I think it's just because it's more colors that are con concentrated. Oh, friend, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. We can try seven next Saturday and see how you guys feel about it. Why is blurry? Okay. <clears throat> I want to do clear on the bottom. You know what? I think I'm going to break my own rule. Remember when I told you last episode that I never do clear on the bottom on glass? What do you say we try it and see what happens? I say we try it. I don't have a time limit. The other project. Too. I don't have a time limit. There's. All right. If you guys have any questions that I have not answered so far, please drop them in and let me know. I'm gonna try to answer everything. Uh, clear as in clear resin, on the on the glass. I normally don't use any base on the glass. I just go straight in with the colors. So I was considering maybe doing the clear for that 3D effect. Okay, well, we will do that then. Sounds great. Oh, hey, hello. Are you were excited to come out? It's so pretty. It is so pretty and it's everywhere. Yeah, I normally use it to add, oh, you know why? Because I've had them upside down, that's why, duh. Such a genius I am. 
Um, I use a clear coat. Hi, Wilfredo. Welcome. How are you, dear? My mom's here too, Alfredo. She says hello. Can you turn down your volume? No, because I hear behind and it's going over your console. I'm saying turn it down. Oh. Because I can hear it. So that's a, that's pretty much how much I put just like the end of the stick. You don't need to too much. These these colors are unbelievable. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're going for it, guys. Clear bottom. Okay. Got a little crazy. It's still blurry while you touch it, Mom. There you go. You have to do it again? No, you're good. As far as this Bombay inks, if you only put one I think it's called a pipette, if I'm saying it right. It's going to be super, super see-through. So the more you put, the more less translucent it is, I guess. Nightstone, I do know that. I, I, I use it on my canvases a lot, but when it comes to glass, um, I did my table not that long ago, and I, I tend to not put um, a base down for that particular reason because I don't want it to flow everywhere. Usually, like, I was trying to keep the lines and stuff like that, and not having a base down helps you with keeping the lines. But this time, we're going to put a base down. Hi, Terry. You can get them on Amazon. I'm sure they ship in Canada. The, the Bombay inks. Why is my light acting up? Yours? The light. But they're awesome. I swear by them. And especially if you work with a lot of um, powders or pastes, when you put inks in there and they all mix together, it's like a super happy dance. I know you guys like seeing this part, so I'm gonna show you. That's breakfast at Tiffany's. Isn't my light so much better this time? How pretty. Uh, I lost track of what was what, but I'm gonna show you anyway. <laughs> it's got a very marbly effect, so pretty. Mm -hmm. They all have a little bit of metallic. Well, I shouldn't say that. Not all of them. But a lot of them have a little bit of metallic. Ooh, I like this one. This one's my favorite. Everybody seems to favor breakfast at Tiffany's when it comes to the Just Resin products. But I gotta say, man, I'm sold on this. Totally sold on that. And that, I know what that is. That's the blue diamond by Just Resin. And then as far as the Bombay ink, it doesn't have that marbling effect, but it's still pretty. Yay, thanks. I'm glad I changed my light bulbs too. I had that like whole yellow light thing happening and it just wasn't nice. This is actually my very, um, night, night stone. This is my very first time purchasing them and it's my very first time working with them. Um, I've had it, let's talk in pieces. I've made about three or four pieces and this is gonna be, let's say five and six and I mean, these blues, I, I, I've reused a couple of them. They're still going strong because you don't need that much. It's very concentrated. Thanks, Wilfredo. Hopefully it comes out good. All right. You guys ready to party or what? 
Let's do this. Oh, snap. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Let's just hope for the best because... Uh, you can go underneath. Go underneath. I guess I could go underneath. Yeah, that's pretty good. Or underneath completely. Just go through the, through the thing. It's got the tape anyway, don't worry. It's not gonna fall. All right, let me bring it closer. <clears throat> All up in here. How do we feel about that? Let's go back a little bit. How's that? Good? I would, I just don't have a marble like on me right now, so we're just gonna wing it. Like I do most of my work. It's okay. <laughs> Christy, you gotta try to just resin, man. It's amazing. I have not tried the Le Res. I hope to soon though. It's happening. Ah. Yeah, it only took me about four videos to figure out what the heck I'm doing with the camera and how to put you guys like in the right spots and stuff. And I actually had a different camera stand tripod thingy set up and it literally fell and broke right before I went on air, so. Fun times, fun times. Here we go. What was that? Oh. Talk about things falling. Can I give you this? Thank you. Sorry. You have to put it everywhere? Yeah, I'm going to spread it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's enough for the whole surface, but we're going to try. If you're here and you just came in not that long ago, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Please, 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 it means a lot. <laughs> My mom's like, I gave you a thumbs up. I was just looking for the colors first. <laughs> what, in case you didn't like it? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Wilfredo. I do. I take a lot of risks. Because, I mean, the way that I see it, a lot of us work with resin, you know? A lot of the people that I follow and follow me, we all work with resin. And you get to a point where things are, like, overdone and, and copied, in a sense. And I kind of want to do my own thing. And, and you can't do that without taking risks and exploring and trying new things. And so, hence the fish we're doing later on today. I think that's good. Oh. Resin all over my finger. Plus, I'm adding all these other colors. Yay! Are you 486? Welcome to the party. It's happening right now, and I can't get my glove on. You know, typical struggles. All right, let's do this. You hear my dogs outside? I apologize. 
as always, they want to be a part of this. And they don't think it's fair that they can't be on quote unquote TV. That breakfast at Tiffany's is like, hey, I'm here. What's up? Is what I like to call awesome sauce. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The the clear one. Okay. We're gonna come in from the sides first. Oh, look at the salad. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Try to figure out a way to have you guys like overhead, kind of like ATD does it. I'm not as fancy as them yet, but I'm trying. like clear clear spaces in between what do you guys think what would you like to see thank you Terry I just hope the owner of the table likes it when it's done you want all the colors mm-hmm What do you mean by two gloves? Christy. Oh, uh, thank you, are you? I try, man, I try. I think I will leave some see-through. Mm -hmm. Like those spaces here. Mm -hmm. That's why I was just saying that. I think yeah. I'm going to leave that alone. <clears throat> yeah, but they also, it's, you, see, see, you see, they it's have a little cool. bit of touching. Feathering. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very nice. Oh yeah, said Wilfredo. get anything like them I will leave I don't know what that means <laughs> I mean if they happen if they happen to live in that way so you can take off one. Oh yes I was gonna try the double glove thing 
And I'm just afraid that I'm just going to struggle with it. I'm going to have to practice like by myself and just be that weirdo that practices double bluffing. <laughs> No, she, what she was saying is that I should put a glove on top of the other glove so that I can just take one off. But I'm just, I don't know. I will try it, that's for sure. Bam! Cells, what's up? think so far it's, pr it's pretty pretty huh Whoop. <clears throat> no clear spaces I kind of like a few of them I'll feel it out and see how, how it looks simply because it lets you kind of see the feathering you know what I mean? Thank you guys. I'm always nervous, I don't know why. I guess it's a good thing. If I get to the point where I make art and I'm not nervous a little bit as to the outcome, I think you, it's like, you're way too sure of yourself. You know, you gotta allow space for mistakes and stuff. That's where the fun's at. I don't have to end at a certain time. If they can't watch anymore, they can always watch it later if I go over my schedule. I'm not gonna rush it. Pretty guys. Yes, beautiful. I would put just a little bit on that space over there. Got it, Christy. Got it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the space that it created itself, meaning within the selling but the rest I'm gonna cover. I hope he likes it, I really do. I will probably go, like after it's completely dry and solid, I'll probably go in and do a, a clear coat just cause it is a table. I want him to be able to use the crap out of it and it not get damaged in any way, you know? To the extent that a little tiny table could be used, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Wink. What's up? All right, everybody, play nice, please. We've got movement, we've got cells. What else can we ask for, huh? Yeah, that's it, no more. 
You think that's it? Should yeah. I keep going? No. Nope. What about like this one spot right here? No. Nope. In, in this spot. At least these right here just a little bit. Just a touch here and a touch here. Thank you so much, Joe. I believe that you are. I'm actually gonna push some of it with one of these stick thingies just to make sure it's touching the edges. Again, if there's any gaps, I can always fix them later in, in that flood coat I was talking about. Oh, you're welcome, friend. Thank you. All right. I say that's it for that. I don't know. That, that one spot's kind of bothering me. I always do that. I'm like, okay, we're done. And then, boom, I put down more color. Now we're done. Let me bring you guys back a little bit. Just so I can mix the colors for the, the fish that everybody's actually here for. for the inside of the fish. And I racked my brains for literally two solid days trying to figure out if I can do it all in one video. And the answer is I can't. But I will do the rest on next week's video when we move. So from my posts, if you follow me on Facebook or any of the pages where I post, um, I have it taped with aluminum tape, including the inside of the, of the fish. Um, and then yesterday I went ahead and I spray painted the background just to give it more of like a 3D effect. It is a swordfish. It was really cute because somebody commented on one of my posts and she's like, oh my gosh, my son is gonna, oh there it goes. My son is gonna love this, he loves sharks. And I'm like, well, it's not a shark, it's a short, it's a short, ugh. It's a swordfish, but he doesn't have to know that. I'm like, if you want it to be a shark, it can be a shark. Thanks, ATD. Did you call them was a carved piece of wood? Yes, this was a bunch of 
pieces of wood put together and then they cart and the swordfish. It was given to me as a gift. I get to keep it and that's super lovely because um, all of the pieces that I make for the most part are for somebody else. So it's kind of neat to have one for myself. I'm struggling right now. Thank you. I'm like, I'm struggling. Ma, help me out. Guys, get you guys a level. They're super important. Like, super important. I did see somebody try to use one as an app off of their cell phone and failed miserably. Just get your real one. By the way, happy birthday, Jeff! we do here? What colors do we want to use? I kind of like this dark blue, the one that I cannot pronounce. So if Erica ever you use it in your ATD thing, just let me know how to pronounce that. Because it's an amazing blue. I just can't say it. I just don't want to mess it up. And then people think it's actually called that. Um, I like this Blue sapphire, very pretty. All right, I'm gonna try to stay away from the colors I've already used today. Can I see this section? Since we're doing, and I think I need to put in a black, and I think I need to put in a silver since we are doing a swordfish. Right? I can't pronounce it. My mom can't pronounce it either. See, I'm not alone. <laughs> Mystery blue. Pal, pal, pal. Just... It's like halo with a PH, so phalo? Is that it? Did I get it? Yes! Thank you, you guys are the best. Okay, so, question. There's my silver. Would you like to see Platinum by Just Resin? Or do you want to see some Mayron Silver action? I haven't used Mayron in a long time. Just because it has a tendency to take over and lift up to the surface. So let me know. Okay. Platinum. Everybody's like, JR. All right. I'm sorry, Mayron. You go in the corner of shame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll do that. We will do... Let me show you. It's okay. That's why it's double taped. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use the blue sapphire. You can tell I like it, it's been used a bunch. We're gonna use the black pigment powder by Artisu. Their stuff is totally amazing also. And I guess we'll go with the platinum by JR. Okay, so this is the plan for this table. We're gonna cover this up, the surface, today. We're gonna to let it dry. And then tomorrow, I'm either gonna go live again or I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna fill the inside of the fish with something separate so that it stands out. I'm not gonna fill it to where it's even with the rest. I'm, I'm gonna fill it to where it's a little bit less so you can see the different dimensions. I am very tempted to try to make it glow in the dark. Um, I got a bunch of these, platinum one guys, platinum one. I got a bunch of these from Art and Glow, 
and they're awesome. They're just not as punchy, if you will, as the rest of the colors that I use. I mean, yes, they go in the dark. They don't have such a, like a punchy effect. So if anybody has used these before I go and, and do that middle, can you please hit me up and let me know if it's okay to mix, for example, let's say I pick this one as a glow in the dark and I mix it with a paste or a powder, will you still see the glow in the dark? Or will it go away? I don't know, help me out before I, because if, if that's not doable, then I'll just stick to regular color, but I, it would be cool like at night to just see this, you know, just the swordfish. So I thought it was a neat idea. We'll see. I also have the glow in the dark paste from them, so that might work better as far as mixing it with something else. But if you guys know, please let me know. All right, see? Cups. I feel like somebody's alarm clock is going off or something. Two, three, four. Do I add white? Maybe a touch. Maybe that is somebody's alarm. And also glitter or no glitter in the fish. Oh, that's a great idea, Nightstone. I didn't even think about that. Very great idea. Um, all right, so for this one, I'll measure it back up. I think it's in his bedroom. Because it's just, I think it's literally in there. I think it's his bedroom clock that's going on. Um, for this one, we're going to use the art one, not the cotton top resin. So, stone coat, the best art coat. Let me just check because somebody's alarm clock is going off and it's crazy. I feel like I can still hear it, that, that phantom. Sorry about that. Right. I know, they're like, where'd she go? There was an alarm clock. I don't know why somebody has an alarm set for 6 p.m., but it is what it is, you know? I'm not here to judge. Did you use the whole thing that you made? For the table, or you end up? No, I read that comment about mixing it. Oh, okay. All right. If you guys are just came in or something like that, or if you haven't hit that thumbs up for me yet, please hit the thumbs up. It would mean a lot. I did. I Thank you, mom. Times. Mom's like, I got your back. <laughs> I'm gonna do 12 again, probably too much, but I've got silicone molds I can put it in. <laughs> That's funny, David. That's exactly pretty much what I did. I'm like, what the hell? What is this? <laughs> What do you guys think about my idea, huh? To fill in the middle with glow in the dark. I, I think it's gonna look cool with two different dimensions in it. I think it would be really dope. Hi, Ronnie. 
He said, hi, Marianne. Nice, Ron. Nice. You come into my channel and you say hi to my mom first. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> you can come in here and say hello. <laughs> She's all shy in the corner. There you go. Hello, everybody. I'm here for a sister. Thanks, Jason. Sorry to keep you guys still still watching. It's longer than my normal um, thing, but I wanted to talk and explain why I do what I do and how I do it. So hopefully I've done that. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. And Ron, you checked in just in time. I'm getting to the fish. I did the table first and made everybody wait for the big finale. That table is really cool though. Yeah, I like it. So much movement. <coughs> that's, that's Bob's table, right? Oh, did I? I'm sorry, Ronnie. I take it back. I, I'm the meaning in that case. He said he said hi to me first, but I missed it. <laughs> That's okay, I understand. Everybody loves my mama. They really do. She's awesome. Thank you. I'll like go to parties and stuff and people are like, where's your mom? Is your mom here? And I'm like, what am I? <laughs> So, I, um, I used a lot of, where is it? I didn't bring it out. Stone coats, um, shoot, I can't even think of the word right now. The, oh, bonding primer. There you go. Ding. I used a lot of it on the fish because it had, where the wood pieces meet each other, it had a lot of gaps. And I was really afraid that I was going to lose a lot of resin between the gaps and then also where the screws went down, like the holes. So, I figured it's cheaper to use a, a bunch of bonding primer and seal it all than to lose a bunch of resin. So I did that and while you could still see the lines, they're, they're not as prominent as they were. Does my mom paint too? She does, off camera with me. She's made some really cool stuff actually. Um, so one of these days, maybe next weekend, I'll let her come in here and show you guys what's up. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so glad. So glad, Cindy. I'm glad. And I'll, I'll do more that are focused on just selling, but I got to tell you, nine times out of ten, it's the products that you use, you know, because you can do the same thing with different products and not get the same result. So I swear by Just Resin. I swear by Artisu. I swear by Stone Coat. They're amazing. And I couldn't get those results without them, you know? What's my plan? I don't have a plan. I never had one. You know this. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in with Claire to try to build up some 3D effect. It's going to be interesting because I don't have a lot of space to move stuff around. So definitely a first for me. But I got to tell you, if I like the end result, I will try to get some more of these or get somebody to make me some. Because they're dope. Alright, I want very little white. it. The white base tint and the black base tint from Stone Coat. If you want cells, these will make you cells. I promise you that, no matter what you mix them with. This is the platinum, I believe. Yes. It's so thick and rich. This is 
is the black artisan butter. Oh, brand new. Let's see what you got. That's a pretty black. It's almost um, charcoal -y. Yeah, it's got like a charcoal hint to it. Bam! Look at that blue. What's up? It's amazing color. Right? Their colors are crazy cool. And they just came out with, I think it was 11 new colors. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, mine, book it. So they're on their way. And I will be sure to use them in the future. With you guys, I mean. All right. And now it's that mixing time you guys like to see up close. I just realized how weird I just sounded just then. Huh? That really is a pretty color though. Like I said in my last one, if I could just like paint all my walls in my house with this, I so would. Can you imagine just like cells everywhere? All over? That's kind of creepy actually, but. <laughs> how neat. Yeah, this black is very charcoal-y, and it has a uh, sparkle to it, which is nice. It's a nice black. It's not like super in-your-face punchy black. It's a, I'll buy you a drink before I punch you black. <laughs> what was that? Something, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. What was that? Something. I, I saw that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Hang on. We got stuffs in it. You cannot ruin my painting. No. Platinum, as ordered. Those uh, painting in the back, right? Hmm? You're going to let this to be seen some of them, right? I will try to. Mm. All right, so that's the mixing part. Because I had a lot of complaints that I do my mixing behind the canvas and you guys can't see what's going on. So, Say there that. it is. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. It happened in your face. Right? Aren't these colors crazy? I can't say it enough, man. I just want to eat them. They're so good. And since I've done a ton of blues in the past couple of weeks on here, I'm probably going to hit up some reds or some greens or something like that in the next one. Just so you guys can see the other colors that they offer. Oh, there we go. You ready, babe? It's your show time. I think I would like to see something in yellow and brown. Yellow and brown? Mm -hmm. I, I actually personally don't work with brown much, but maybe I should. Maybe I'm missing out. Are you level? Yes, I talk to my art all the time because I'm a little bit strange, but it does talk back. Can you hit the screen? Thank you. All right, cups. How many do we have over there? Just one. That's the cool thing about.
about using solo cups to hold up your artwork, you can just add to the height. Ooh, that's a little too crazy much. How about a cup and a stick? Earthy, earthy tones? Yes, nightstone. I will work on that. I'm sure they will too. If you ask them nicely. It's just hard to stay earthy when you have all these awesome colors. You just want to pow everything. We're like super way off. Super, super way off. I had it good earlier. That's better. I see it's right in the middle. I don't know. It's not. It's, it's off. It's off by like a little bit, but that little bit can make a big difference. Maybe. Okay. Oh well, we're taped up, so it's not like it's going anywhere. Let's do this. I've kept you guys waiting long enough. Good? You leave it like that, one, one foot from me. This is just spray paint, by the way, if you missed it in the beginning. Um, I actually don't have them with me, but it's, it's just white um, sea foam and just a dark blue by rust -Oleum. I just kind of went in to give it a little bit of, I don't know, life. <laughs> I like that name, rust -Oleum. I like that. It sounds good. Yeah. 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 Then go in with the color. Hopefully, like I said, the prepping that I did will keep it from seeping through all the lines and the holes and everything. Because that was my biggest fear. There's nothing worse than having an awesome, awesome design and then you just end up losing it because it's leaking somewhere. Like I did with my table the other day. If I missed anything you guys have said, I truly apologize. I'll get better <laughs> at multitasking. All right, let's do this. Take two and go. I wasn't ready. I'm excited about this piece because if it comes out anywhere near to what I have in my head, it should be dope. I 
I went to uh, my friend's house and just happened to see this piece out on the patio, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so amazing. And he's like, you want it? And I'm like, yes! Because I know I'm going to cover it in resin. Nothing is safe for me with the resin nowadays. I'm surprised my whole house is not just one big resin piece. All these edges are so tricky. Man, it took me forever to tape this thing. Like, so that the lines are good and tight. But at least you can see me do something other than a canvas, I guess. Thank you, Joe. I think so too. And if you follow, if you guys follow me on Facebook, Vibrant Expressions 1209, I will make sure to put uh, pictures of it with the legs on it once it's completely dry, and once I do the um, final coat. So. You guys can see it. Sorry, this is taking so long. I'm trying my best. I have been working with resin since about November of last year. And I started out making coasters, and then I moved on to bigger pieces, and now I'm just exploring what I can do and what I can put it on as far as, like, whether it's glass, whether it's wood, whether it's whatever. And uh, once I get this down, I know myself, I'm just going to move on to bigger pieces with resin and new things that I can put it on. Because I get bored easily, so I need new, new things to do. <clears throat> Not bored of resin, just bored of what I'm putting the resin on. Thank you. I tried. I really tried. I'm telling you, these, she said it's a, it's a ah, great tape job. These right here were a pain. Oh my gosh, if you want to send me some aluminum, I will take it. I'm not going to say no to that. <sighs> and I broke another glove. <sighs> Boy, I struggle, man. I say we leave it just like this. <laughs> right.
That's neat. Mm -hmm. Is this the black one? This is the black one, the first one what I put is down. That one? This is the platinum. I like that. I just like to put the white because it makes the colors pop more when on top of it. And like I said, it sells very nicely. Make sure you do some uh, aqua behind, you know, when it goes. That's so cool. It's got a lot of mini cells. I'm trying to not cover the whole background because I do really like what's happening. So we're just gonna cover a little bit of the top. effects up in data. You guys like this so far? I know it's not as clear as it could be as far as being able to see it, but it's nice. If I do say so myself. It does, Nightstone. That's why I do it, because then they all, like, dance with one another. Interesting, it's if you never know what's gonna happen there. Right. Uh, that's, that's the beauty part. Yeah, you there. can't really plan on this at all. It's gonna yeah. do what it wants to do. What is this? Oh, I think you should leave that uh, black right there. I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave that. Yeah. Just the way it is, yeah. I think right. I'm okay with, with the yeah. that was the whole point of painting the background. What is hard, I will tell you this. Working a heat gun in such small areas that are way smaller than the, the tip of the heat gun is challenging right now. I'm finding it challenging, but making it work. If you guys haven't hit that thumbs up, please hit that thumbs up for me. Thank you. You want me to spread Thanks, the Terry. colors and you just work with a gun because I can do that. No, I got Because I got to like feel it. But next weekend, or two weekends from now, maybe my mom can make her piece. Because now you're famous and everybody wants to see you <laughs> and see what you can do. That's it. Everybody knows you now. There's no going back. <laughs>
That's so cool. Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys closer <clears throat> when I take you off the tripod. But they still develop, the you know. Yeah, still they're still moving. That. Yeah. That's the cool part. Even when you think you're done, you're not done. Yeah, I still think going. with the, uh, the fish being filled uh, out. That's so awesome, Joe. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, yay, Nightstone. Thanks, guys. So cool. Well, if it's on TV, then you should be able to see it a little bit better than I can see it on my tablet as far as the detail, right? They said that they have us on their big screen TV and on the cell phone. <laughs> then you can see the yeah the be the beautiness. <laughs> you can see that. Thanks, Link. <laughs> I think I will let this here just like that. I'm pretty in love with it. Not gonna lie. Are are you ready? Like the way it came out. Best way to do. It. Plus, I get to stay in bed just a bit longer and watch in peace. Have to run, it's looking great. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I sand the wood first? Yes, I sanded the wood really, really well. And then I primed it with um, stone coats. Uh, what is it called again? I forgot. Their sealer, their prime. I'll, I'll, I'll post it in the comments on Facebook when I put the picture in. And then I taped it and then I spray painted it on top of it. <laughs> Those little mini cells are so cool. I don't want to push it too much, you know? I don't want to stretch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Bonding primer. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Can't wait to see it, Joe. Sorry, I know I'm going longer than my normal, like, normal hour, but... I wanted to do both things, and if you guys are willing to stick around and watch it, that's even better, and I thank you for it. We have 882 subscribers. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Does it say how many people are watching? Uh, first of that's so cool that right there is awesome sauce that's what's up Thank you, Nightstone. It's, it's, it's gonna be gorgeous. I know, I'm so glad that I had the idea to do it. And I just hope whatever I do to the middle doesn't mess it up, you know? And if you do, it's going to be a nice mess. I know that. <laughs> That's so pretty. I'm tempted to cover this right here a little bit in this blue. Yeah, let's massage that. Huh? How long is that?
done. Done. Tell me to stop so I don't ruin it. <sighs> so we will see. Excuse me. I don't want to risk giving you guys motion sickness like I did the last time when I tried to bring you in and show you everything really close. But if you would like to see how it looks tomorrow when it's nice and dry, Fiber Expressions 1209 on Facebook and Instagram, and I will be posting both of them. And then tomorrow, once it's dry and I assess the situation, I'll either go live, I don't want to say a time because I don't know, or I'll make a video and then just post it on my, on my uh, Facebook page about what I do this. Or depending on how I'm feeling about it, maybe I'll do it in next Saturday's um, thing. I cannot thank you guys for being here enough. Um, you guys are so great. Thank you for the chat, for everything you've said, for the thumbs up, for following, for watching. It, it means the world because as I said, this is what I am going to do for a living full time as, you know, after the end of this year. And let me tell you, it's scary. It's absolutely scary to just drop a career and focus on this, you know, just stop doing what you've been doing for the last 15 years, just to do what makes you happy instead. It's, it's freaking scary. And it's, uh, you're welcome, next now. It's, uh, <laughs> Cindy said we love you and mom. Oh, Come here, you gotta say hi one more time to everybody. <laughs> they got love for you, man. <laughs> okay. This is my mom, everybody get down. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hello. Thank um, you for watching. Yes, thank you for watching us. And uh, so like I said, this is it for me. Um, and your love and support just tells me I'm doing something right, you know. Um, I do want to say a few words about a few people, though. A lot of people show me a lot of love, but these particular people show me extra, extra, extra love on a daily, and they mean the world to me. And they do have their own pages, and I think that you guys should go check out their work. Um, so one is Alexis, love her. Her page is Wondering Art, W-A-N-D-E-R-I-N-G, -R, Art. So Wondering with an A. The second one is Caitlin, love Caitlin. Her page is Artie Selenic. I will type all this in tomorrow when I post these pictures so that you guys can, you know, tag them in there and so you guys can click on it and check them out. Uh, Ruby does amazing work also. That's Lucid Dreaming Arts. And Joe, who's in the house today, is uh, White Phoenix Resin and, and uh, Acrylic Art. I know you may not memorize all of this, like I said, I will tag them all in there. These ladies are unbelievably talented. They have love for me, I have love for them, and I think it's worth mentioning every single one of them and their amazing art. Um, I do want to take two seconds to talk about an awesome guy who I just bought a piece of art from, and I'm blown away at his talent. It isn't resin, it's acrylic actual painting, but just so good and I'm on his butt to open up an art page on Facebook so that you guys can all see it. He does not have one yet. Um, his name is Jason Flynn and can we all just take a moment and take this in because seriously how ridiculously beautiful is that? Absolutely beautiful. All of his art is for sale. All of all, of all their arts are for sale. So just hit them up, and then if you would like to purchase something from Jason, just let me know, and I'll, I'll make it happen. Um, but it's all about artists supporting artists, man. It's, it's a cold world out there, so we got to be nice to one another and support one another. I thank you very, very much, and I will see you next Saturday right here. I might do 7 p.m. next time. Mwah. Bye.